Welcome to this exploration of the intricate dance of interest rates, inflation, commodities, and stocks. Picture the world of economics as a complex web, where each thread represents a different factor that influences our financial landscape. Four of these threads, interest rates, inflation, commodities, and stocks, are particularly crucial. They are interconnected in a myriad of ways, weaving a dynamic pattern that shapes our economic reality. These variables are not isolated, they interact with each other, creating a ripple effect that can either buoy or sink the economy. Interest rates influence borrowing costs, inflation impacts consumer purchasing power, commodities prices are swayed by both rates and inflation, and the stock market, well, it reacts to changes in all these variables. Their relationships are not always straightforward and can have both positive and negative ramifications, depending on the economic climate. Now let's delve into each of these components in more detail. Interest rates, the cost of borrowing money, play a pivotal role in the economy. You see, when you borrow money, you pay back more than what you borrowed. That extra is the interest. Now, imagine you're a business owner. If interest rates are low, it becomes cheaper for you to borrow money, which you can then invest in expanding your business. More businesses investing and growing leads to a more vibrant economy. But that's not all. Interest rates also impact consumer spending. When interest rates are low, it's cheaper for us to take out loans for big-ticket items like houses or cars. This can lead to increased spending, which can stimulate the economy. Now, let's tie this back to our economic web. When interest rates rise, the cost of borrowing increases for both businesses and consumers. This can slow down spending and investment. For commodities, higher interest rates can lead to lower prices, as they become less attractive compared to interest-bearing investments. And as for the stock market, well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Higher interest rates can make borrowing more expensive for companies, potentially impacting their profits and stock prices. But on the other hand, they can also signal a strong economy, which can boost investor confidence. So, as interest rates fluctuate, they cause ripples throughout the economy, affecting everything from inflation to stock market performance. Scene script. Inflation, the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising, is another key player in our economic dance. Picture a ballet where every move is carefully choreographed. In our economic ballet, inflation is the prima ballerina, leading the show. When inflation pirouettes, the cost of living leaps with it. Everything from your morning coffee to your monthly rent becomes more expensive. This in turn affects consumer purchasing power, making it harder for people to buy the things they need or want. But inflation's performance doesn't stop there. It also influences other parts of our economic dance. Let's say the central bank decides to raise interest rates. This move can slow down inflation's spin, as higher interest rates make borrowing more expensive, which can dampen spending and slow down price increases. Inflation's dance moves also resonate on the commodities stage. For instance, when inflation is high, investors often turn to commodities like gold, which can retain value even when prices are rising. This increased demand can drive up the price of commodities. And what about stocks? Well, the stock market watches inflation's performance very closely. If inflation is high, it might mean that companies' costs are rising, which can squeeze profit margins and lead to lower stock prices. On the flip side, if inflation is low, it might signal that demand is weak, which can also be bad news for stocks. Inflation, then, is a significant factor that investors need to keep an eye on. Commodities, tangible assets ranging from oil and gold to agricultural products, also have an intricate part in this economic performance. Commodities, the raw materials that drive our world, are deeply embedded in the global economy. Their prices dance to the tunes of interest rates and inflation. When interest rates rise, the cost of storing commodities increases, which can lead to a drop in their prices. Similarly, inflation can affect commodities prices too. As inflation rises, the value of money falls, which often leads to higher commodities prices, as more money is needed to purchase the same amount of a commodity. But commodities don't just react to economic conditions, they also shape them. They can influence the stock market in significant ways. For instance, if oil prices rise, it can increase the cost of production for companies, biting into their profits and potentially leading to a drop in their stock prices. On the other hand, gold, often seen as a safe haven in turbulent times, can see its price rise when the stock market is shaky, as investors look for safer places to park their money. So you see, commodities are not just passive players in the economic game. They are active participants, 
influencing and being influenced by the other elements in the economic web. Thus, commodities too, are a vital piece of the puzzle that investors should monitor. Finally, we come to the stock market, often considered a mirror reflecting the state of the economy. It's a dynamic and complex system, responding to the subtlest shifts in economic variables. Consider interest rates for example. When rates rise, borrowing costs for companies increase, potentially leading to lower profits. Investors in turn may sell their shares, driving down stock prices. Conversely, lower interest rates can stimulate economic activity and thus potentially boost stock prices. Inflation also plays a significant role. As it erodes purchasing power, consumers may spend less, affecting companies' revenues and, by extension, their stock prices. On the other hand, modest inflation can signal a healthy economy which could lead to a more buoyant stock market. Commodities too have their say, changes in their prices can directly impact sectors like energy, agriculture and manufacturing. For instance, rising oil prices can inflate costs for companies reliant on transportation, potentially denting their earnings and stock prices. Investors then, must keep a close eye on these indicators, using them as compasses to navigate the turbulent seas of the stock market. By understanding the interplay of these factors, they can make informed decisions, buying or selling stocks based on their assessments of economic conditions. The stock market, then, is the culmination of this intricate economic dance reflecting the interplay of interest rates, inflation, and commodities. So, we have unraveled the economic web, taking a closer look at the intricate dance of interest rates, inflation, commodities, and stocks. It's been a journey, hasn't it? We've explored how interest rates influence borrowing costs, shaping the economic landscape. We've delved into the role of inflation, examining its impact on consumer purchasing power and its ripple effects on the economy. We've understood the importance of commodities, their prices swaying under the influence of interest rates and inflation. Lastly, we've seen how the stock market, like a mirror, reflects these economic changes. These aren't just standalone factors, they're interconnected, each influencing and being influenced by the other, creating a complex, ever-dancing web. For investors, understanding these economic indicators is vital. It's like having a compass in the vast ocean of investment opportunities. It helps navigate the choppy waters of market volatility providing valuable insights that can shape investment strategies. Remember, the economy is a complex web, and understanding its intricate dance can provide valuable insights for investors. Thank you for joining this exploration. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions.